For our lab using Bridge, we're going to sort through some photos that we've taken, pick the 10 to 12 best, and we're going to create a photo gallery that we will save for use when we get to our Dreamweaver project and create an entire website. I have a selection of photos from a trip I took to Ireland this year. I'm going to go through some of the basic things that I like to do when working with my photos before I get to turning them into the gallery. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the photos. I select the first photo. I hold shift. I select the last photo. That selects everything in between. And then I'm going to use my tools and the batch rename option. I want to name these Ireland. And I'm going to put an underscore in and I want to start numbering at 01. I want my numbering sequence to go to two digits, and I'm going to select Rename. Now everything has started renumbering with the number one, and it's all Ireland underscore zero one zero two zero three. The slider on the bottom will let me look at these a little larger, which I'd like to do because I'd like to add some keywords to these to help me sort them. So in my keywords, I've already put in some keywords in here, Ireland, Seamus, Let's pick this picture. I'm going to add a new keyword by hitting the plus here. That's Richard, my husband. And I'm in here somewhere too. There I am. And so I should add a keyword for myself. And so I can do this a bunch at a time. Seamus is in a bunch of these. These are actually all Ireland, so I can select Hit Shift, select everything, add the keyword Ireland to them, and then I'll select other ones. Let's see, this has Richard in it, so I'll select Richard. This one is me. This one through here, they all have Seamus. This one also has me, and I would go through and I would sort and just check the keywords that I want to add. And so I can quickly, just by checking these keywords, apply keywords that I would want to sort by. And you'll see that these have all applied. I can look at my metadata. And you can add other metadata, which is metadata is data that describes your file. And you'll see if I scroll down, it has all sorts of neat details in here, camera details. You can put in copyright information and my keywords. And for any image that I pick, it will show you my keyword. Apparently I did not get that with Seamus. Oh, I do have it with Seamus. Keywords. Oh, there it is. Okay. I can also filter by keywords. So maybe I want to just view the ones that Richard's in, or that Richard and I are in, or that Seamus is in. That's why I like adding keywords, is because it makes it very simple to sort images. Now, I like all of these images, but I want to do a photo gallery, and some of these are kind of repetitive. So I'm going to sort through these, and I don't want things that are identical or close to identical. And while I can zoom in on these here and view them larger, what I want to do is I want to make a collection. And the easiest way for me to do that is to go into my View, Review Mode, which is the Command B keyboard shortcut, and I'm going to take a quick flip through, keep the pictures that I like. If I get duplicates where I get two that are just alike, these are pretty close, they're all pretty similar. I'll pick which one I like best. Now I would actually go into Photoshop and edit these later, but that's for a different lesson. So to get rid of them, I can hit the down arrow here. It doesn't delete it, it just removes it from the collection that I'm going to have. Don't like that one either. I'm going to keep that one. I'm now using the down arrow on my keyboard shortcut. I don't really like that picture of him. I don't want a picture of the back of his head. That's a good picture. I like that picture. Seamus is having fun driving there. 
That's a good one. It's really close to that, though. Um, like the other one better. Good water shot. That's also a good water shot. Like the other one better. Seamus. Seamus, those are pretty similar. We'll get rid of that one. Those are pretty similar. Get rid of that one. Okay. So I now have a collection of images that don't really duplicate. Again, I would probably go in and edit and crop some of these in Photoshop, um, but we'll get to that later. Now I can make this into a collection here by clicking this button next to the X. And I'm going to call it Ireland for Web. Because these are the images that I want to use for my web. And you'll see that they show up in my collections. I haven't deleted anything. It's still here. I could go hit back and I'd have all of them again. But if I want to just work with these, I can select my Ireland for web images. Now that I have them all together, I'm going to select all of them. And I want to do something with these. There are a couple cool things to do with output. I'm going to select output and that brings up this option here and for output I can do PDF or web gallery. So I have options and I'm going to do a 2 by 2 cells and I'm going to check that as a PDF and refresh my preview. Anytime you make a change over on the side, you have to, have to hit Refresh Preview. Now this would be great to give to my mother-in-law to look at so she can pick which ones she really wants to have printed on um, high quality paper. I could do these as proofs. She doesn't see really well, so we can give her fairly large ones, or I could do them a little bit smaller. And this would be something I could give to my, my mother-in-law so she could decide what she wants me to print. But what I really want to do is I want to create a web gallery. And there's a lot of different choices for the web gallery. You can do all sorts of templates here. I like the thumbnails. And again, each time you hit preview to see it. And we had it break. There we go. Now this is nice because you can click on the thumbnails on the side here. It gives a nice transition. I won't actually use this though um, because it's done in a flash player. And at this point, flash is not widely supported and most of my family and friends have tablets, iPads. Um, I want them to be able to see it anywhere. So I want something that's going to work on an iPad. And there's only one option that will work on an iPad. That's your HTML gallery because it doesn't use Flash. So this is the one I'm going to modify. You can choose to use another one for your final project. Just be aware that if you use Flash, it won't run on an iPad. So I'm going to set my gallery title, Ireland 2012, caption, Ireland. About this gallery, photos taken by Richard and Mary Winchester. Mary Winchester. Mary Winchester at gmail.com. Copyright Richard and Mary Winchester 2012. And then I can choose my color palette. Let's do a quick preview, see where we're at before I look at that. So this is what it's going to look like. Well, I don't really use that color scheme, so I can choose different colors, he colors here. So for my grid lines, I'm actually going to want those to be dark. For my text, I want that to actually be lighter and sort of a 
yellow. I'll play with these a bit. Close that. And for that, for the cells, I really don't like that gray. I'm going to have everything in shades of green because, well, it's Ireland. I also want to get into my background. And I'm going to make that a very, very dark, almost black green. And I'm going to test that again. I want you to spend some more time and get really in depth, but you can see that we can edit each one. If I click on these, it takes me to the next one. I can play with the colors. I'd want to make this a different color. Index takes me back. I can do multiple pages, and this will work nicely on the internet. And we could choose whether or not we want to show cell numbers. I don't like those. Now they're gone. And so there's lots of different options here that I can play with. And I want you to spend some time playing with several of the different gallery options, creating the different galleries. Um, I'm not going to show file names. Let's go ahead and keep looking. Number of rows number of columns. Let's change this to four columns and five rows. That should get it to where it's all on page, one page, which is what I really want. There we go. Everything's on one page. Much better. So my next thing I would do is give it a gallery name. Ireland 2012 and I would pick a save location. In this case, I'm just going to put it on, put it on my desktop in a new folder. And I'm going to call it Ireland Web Gallery. And I'm going to hit Create. Now, I used all lowercase. I'm going to select Open. I'm not going to upload it here. I'm going to do that in Dreamweaver later. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Save. And that will create the whole folder for me. I'm going to hit OK. And I can go find the gallery. I put it on my desktop to make it easy to find. And let's see how that worked. So I should have my Ireland Web Gallery right here. And what's inside of it, Ireland 2012, index.html is going to be the main page. And this is what we're going to link to from our web page. In there we have resources, cascading style sheets. We can actually go in and customize those. We have content. This has all of the images, actually all the pages. There's a page for each one. And let's go ahead and take a quick look. Here we have our gallery completely working. We could customize it a lot more, play with colors, make it more attractive, but that's a quick way to sort pictures and make a web gallery.